this is Dagmar Demain, and I'm going to ask her, Dagmar, you have been uh, involved in the CIP. Could you please tell us something about um, your experience with the CIP, when you joined, where you went, and what your experience was? Well, I am a very old member of the program. You might know it was started in 1956 by Henry Ollendorf, who has been a German Jew and had to emigrate because of the Nazi time. And later he came up with this wonderful idea of doing something in direction of peace work and helping Germans to understand their past and helping them to grow into a democratic way of life, which was not possible under Hitler and all that time which we um, had to work through. And it was great that the first group was in Cleveland, uh, 56, and they were 25 Germans, and in their evaluation they told Henry to please make it an international program because the Germans felt that even in Europe with their country aside them, France or Belgium or Italy or all the European countries were involved in the same issues from different point of views and that they had difficulties to communicate with each other over this time. And so I was lucky to be a member 57, to be there with eight different European countries. And it was very interesting. We came by boat, by the way, not flying into the States. And on the boat, uh, the Germans entered first, then the people from Netherlands and France in Le Havre, and they would not talk to us because we were still enemies. And so this was really brilliant that we were in this program and Henry helped us to communicate and to get in, into this other way of thinking and we stayed friends since then. So that was a marvelous experience also before I even entered the States. And my experience were wonderful because I lived in the first six weeks, time-wise two weeks in different families. So I got to know three different American families and we had then visits and uh, on university education in those six weeks. And then the rest of the program was 10 weeks working in any kind of social agencies. I had the chance of working in Hiram Mouse Camp with uh, many children from the neighborhood centers in Cleveland. So this for now, <laughs> otherwise I talk all day. <laughs> <laughs> That's wonderful. I am shocked, surprised to hear that you landed there. You did not come there by train or you did not come there by plane, but you were on a boat. 10 days. She, 10 days. She, Voyage from Germany, of course, that's amazing. Secondly, that was a time they, when Henry started this in 56, there, there were uh, all Germans, 20, 28 of them. But when you came, the first time it became international programs and there were people from other European countries and the situation at that time was such that they would not, they were enemies almost. They yeah. wouldn't talk to one another. So, but when you were in Cleveland, you, the program helped you to communicate very, very well very with the other. Well, and to tell you the, I have friends still then in Norway, in in uh, in the Netherlands. One of my very best friends is Netty in uh, Groningen in the Netherlands, and I have very dear friends also in France. Since then, and okay. the fifty-seven group met also in between the CIF meetings and about CIF maybe Gisela will tell you a little bit more that is the fellowship group uh, where all people 
meet, who have ever been in the program if they want to continue these kinds of meeting. And we started this CIF in Hamburg in a youth hostel, 1960. Each time when Henry came to recruit members for the program, we met him and so we said to him, let's make a little, it, a little bit more formal, let us make an organization, maybe then we can also get some money for our meetings. And so we founded 1960 CIF here in Hamburg. And we love to have all people who participate in the program to become a member and continue the exchange with the oldies so that this program will still be so lively. Wonderful. Thank you very much. So now I have um, Gisela uh, with me. I'm going to ask her a couple of questions and uh, she will explain particularly uh, Gisela is going to tell you, uh, the Germans who are currently in Chicago, uh, you know, the, about the CIF program. But before that, uh, Gisela, could you please tell us about your experience? Where, when did you come to the United States as a participant and where did you go and what your experience was? I was 72 in the United States in uh, Minneapolis, St. Paul. And uh, I worked there. First, we had, like Dagmar, the same six weeks um, time at the university and uh, uh, 14 days, three times 14, at, at 14 days in different families. And that was very interesting. And I, I liked much the family with children. And uh, I think it's the same. You learn from the way of life, the best in, in such families. Um, then I was later in a counseling center and I think for, uh, therefore my English was too bad. A counseling center, you have, it's really necessary to know the language. Um, we had, there were different uh, youth um, to, to counsel youth, it's necessary to know better uh, a foreign language. And this was really a little bit difficult. My experience in the United States is um, that I learned really a lot of more tolerance. I learned a lot of... Um, I was the, it was the first time that I was together with black people. And we didn't have had uh, a lot of uh, black people here in Germany, and uh, special not to live together uh, the the whole day or to be together. And this was uh, a new uh, experience, but it was wonderful and okay. We were uh, 28 um, um, participants from uh, I think 24 different countries, and. Um, yeah, that was great, and I think special, uh, great. Uh, I, I had time during my uh, profession to go on the conferences and so on, um, that I, after my um, job, when I was in pension, I liked it very much to be active for CIF, CIP, and I organized the conference in 2005 and also the uh, 50th anniversary 2010 here in Hamburg, and that was great. I like to organize, uh, to uh, play and to do creative things, and uh, th this was really wonderful. Yo, this. Well, wonderful, and thank you. And the CIF, I hope um, everyone who is currently a participant will join. And I have the contact information of uh, Gisela, and I will bring it and I'll give to each of you, especially the person from, home, from uh, Hamburg. Definitely, you must meet her when she, when after you complete your program, come to, uh, to Germany. Uh, Demar, thank you very much uh, for sharing your experience with us. Now, one final uh, question. Do you have anything more to share with um, the others? 
Any message for the current participants uh, we have in Chicago? Well, uh, not so easy to just a point, but I like very, very much the concept of living in host families. And I know that it is nowadays very difficult to find enough people who can take over this wonderful service. But I wish for the future that we will not uh, leave it out because we discuss it very often if it is still possible to continue this kind of concept. That would be one, one question I have uh, that we continue to stay with this wonderful part of the program. And then uh, I like very much to convince people who have participated the program that they come and share their wonderful experience with the oldies of the program who are members in the CIF. And please do come and let us know what you have experienced and try to continue to stay in this peace program and share the conferences in the future because that is really worth, worth, worth it. And so this is what is my last statement. <laughs> Have uh, a nice end of your program. Bye-bye. <laughs> Cheers. Uh, <laughs> uh, thank you, um, Bemar. And uh, Gisela, I would like to ask you the same question as to what, uh, anything final that you want to share with um, the others in Chicago? Um, any, any other final message that you would like to share with the participants or families? I think very important is uh, to, uh, when you come back in your, in your countries, um, you do something for different peace programs and so on. And um, CI, PCIF is a peace program and that's very great and I like it very much that uh, all the Eastern countries uh, is this right, Eastern, are now included and say they do also programs in their countries and not only the West and the Asians and, and so on. Um, oh, I like to learn always different people from different countries and to have fun with them together and to sing together and um, well, to, th that's very good and necessary, not, not always to talk and to hear uh, different uh, uh, so I, uh, supports or, or what you said. Uh, I think it's uh, good and necessary to live together and uh, to be together and uh, to understand each other. Yeah, to understand in with all your nice and bad things. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you. That's uh, what the CIP is all about. You share the experience and share with one another. I am so grateful to both of you, uh, Demar, for coming all the way from your home to the university where I am. And uh, also, Gisela, thank you very much for joining thank you us. Thank you very much. The CIP bye bye. still has, we have expanded the program to include professionals from other fields as well. And host family living, I know both of you are strongly stressing the importance, the value of host family stay. And both the hosting institution, the family benefiting, as well as the guests, those who come from other countries benefiting. So it is. Uh, win-win situation where the host and the guests benefit from it and we thank you yeah, yeah. For, with your experience of sharing that how that host family living really enabled you impacted you enriched you likewise you are convinced the families that hosted or you also have changed have benefited has been an enriching experience for them as well we will continue to communicate with you we i will strongly encourage our current participants to become members of cif so that this vision this mission of building peace across 
cultures and ba national boundaries continues. Once again, uh, thank you, uh, Dima, and thank you, Gisela. Bye bye. We are three, we, all three of us are sitting in the university uh, room where we have this conference of sister cities. Bye bye.